Back on Wave News 10 616, if your electricity is still off, you're probably not happy about going into another day with no power. It may be some consolation that thousands of others don't have power too. And probably as we join uh, Benita Harris, or Benita Harris joins us on the phone, we appreciate that. You know, we saw people kind of standing up clapping when they saw trucks rolling through that have come from Kentucky and have come from South Carolina. So tell me a little bit more about those partnerships and how they are ho hopefully going to accelerate people getting back on the grid. Well, Carrie, uh, as you know, this was a big storm. We knew it was going to be a big storm, so we were prepared with a great plan, and we had our peer utilities on standby to come and help us out. And we have had over 7,000 uh, utility workers from all over, from Kentucky, Ohio, South Carolina, uh, coming in to help us. We, we have about 4,000 from here locally. Um, and uh, the, another 2,000 plus from out of town coming to help us get power restored as quickly and safely as possible. Benita Harris now on the line with Dominion Virginia Power. And Benita, where, can you tell me where some of the hardest hit areas are and can you offer those folks some, some word or some information about when their power might come back on? Sure, Don. Well, right now um, we are down to about 160,000 customers without power. And that's still a big number and I know it, it, it's so hard and inconvenient for those who are uh, without power. But um, we were at over 570,000 in our area at one point. So hopefully it's encouraging to know that we are working our way down the list and getting to folks as soon as we can. And one new tool that we have available as of yesterday is you can go on dom.com and see if you are on the list for restoration today. Oh, wow. Okay, so how can folks use that? Because we can go ahead and pull up your website, and when they get to dom.com, people are going to want to know what should they click on, where should they enter their information to find out. That's right. You go on dom.com and put in storm restoration. It's dom.com slash storm center, and there's all kinds of information there about outages, about where crews are working, about who's slated for restoration today. Uh, any other updates we can, we've been just trying to put them on there so folks know exactly what we're doing and what they can expect. So are people going to find an actual list or are you asking that folks use the interactive map and then when they click on those dots they see the work order? Is that kind of what you're talking about? Well, uh, no, they actually should be able to look and put in an address and see if they're on the list for today. Okay. All right. Great tip there. Hopefully the site doesn't get overwhelmed with people who are going <laughs> right now. That's a good now. point. And if it is, just, we just appreciate everybody's patience. Just check back with us because, of course, there's quite a few people that are trying to get information right now. But the good news is we are making steady progress by tomorrow. We expect to have 75% of all affected customers restored. That's and good. by Friday, 90 to 95% of our customers should be on. And Bonita, can you offer any help to folks who are in a, a particular situation where they just don't have the funds to survive if their power is going to be out, say, a week or longer? Well, there are shelters open in certain locations, and, you know, on Hampton Roads, we just all have to pitch in and help each other. Stay with family, stay with friends, uh, do whatever you can to, to be able to plan. And that's why we try to get information out as much as possible so people can plan accordingly. And, of course, you know we public safety is our number one priority. We respond to emergency situations first. We uh, are... Uh, still focusing on restoring the remaining critical infrastructure, which now includes schools and universities because everybody is, is ready to get back into school. Some have already started. Some are ready for after Labor Day. And then we go down the list for the largest blocks of customers at a time so we can get to people as soon as possible. But um, you know, people can still feel free to call us at 1-866-DOM-HELP as well to get information so they can make the best plan for themselves. All right, I just want to find folks, when you go to dom.com, I was kind of searching around and use the search box. It's right here, Dominion Cruise Restoring Service at dom.com. Double click that, there's the storm center that Benita was just talking about, where you can uh, view the news releases, where the crews are going to be working each day, and also that place where you can either call or enter online, you know, where, where your address is and find out when you'll be back online. Okay, so it's right there at the home page. All right. Cruise All right, Gary, you are good. I, it took a minute, but I figured <laughs> it out. <laughs> hey, Benita, thank you very much. As friendly as possible because we know that at least helps people make plans.
yeah. uh, when they can find out what's going on. They can also go on to their, uh, their account online, their Dominion Online account, and get information as well. Okay. All right. The fact that I couldn't find it right away means nothing. But the <laughs> fact that I did eventually find it means everyone should be able to do that. Thanks, Benita. Thank you. We appreciate all of your updates.